Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Man Shed. Okay, today's review is going to be on this. Um, it's the camera adapter for the Osmo Action that enables you to plug in an external mic. Um, now, it's now, I'm recording this November 2019. Now, the Osmo Action has probably been out knocking on nearly a year I would say now and when it came out uh, as DJI uh, usually do they didn't release all the uh, add-on extras you, you could get for it one of which was um, a means of plugging in an external mic there is a USB-C uh, socket in there but there's no USB-C dedicated mic for it and there was no adapter to plug a normal mic with a 3.5mm jack connector so months and months and months later they've released um, or there has been made a proper adapter for it. Now if you're new to the Osmo or whatever, be very very careful getting the adapter. This is, as far as I'm aware, the only one which will work. There are USB-C um, male to 3.5mm uh, female jack that will plug into the USB socket on the Osmo and you can plug your microphone in but they just don't work there was one video um, which was with loads and loads of views thousands and thousands of views a well respected um, gadgets geek sort of guy uh, re reviewing um, gadgets with a well established website who showed one working the long type adapter and, loads of, and, and the link to Amazon to get it and that lots of people got it to find behold it doesn't work so why he was giving misinformation like that I don't know it's, it may have been taken down now that video I haven't checked I sort of um, did subscribe I unsubscribed after that um, because it was definitely false information there is only one which seems to work which is this one so another thing to check first um, I know my uh, reviews tend to go on a bit, but I do like to give uh, all full details. Obviously, this adapter will fit with the standard um, case that comes with the Osmo. But if you do want to get a separate case like I've got for this, now this is a PGY case. Now this one fits because you need to take off the door, the side door of the Osmo there to get the adapter in and this um, case enables you to do that the reason I bought this case was it's got the shoe fitting on the top here and another one on the side so you can you can slide that's a, a um, quarter thread you can put that on there or there and you can slide a normal microphone in the top here you can't do that with the standard case that you get with the uh, Osmo but if you are getting another case be careful which one you get I'll show you on here this was the first one I got uh, where are we? the, uh, it was that one that was the first case I got for the Osmo. Now if you look here on the left where it's magnified, that is that long adapter that I'm on about and it shows a microphone plugged in there but it will not work so don't waste your money buying one of them adapters off Amazon or whatever just because it's USB 3 uh, just because it's USB 3 uh, USB C that end and 3.5 mil jack that and it will not work and this case will not fit this adapter I'm going to be showing you will not fit this adapter so the case you need there may be others is this one I sent that one back and I bought this one instead and this is the um, well, it says Penvio, but uh, PGY, PGY type tech. 
So if you get the PGY Tech, I think it's Pen Penevo, um, there it's got PGY Tech at the front, and that has a flap on the side, a cutout on the side, that enables you to get the microphone adapter in. So you've no problem with this one getting the mic adapter in. So that that is the one you want. So while I'm uh, while I've got the screen open, I'll show you as you've probably seen on DJI's site there, this same adapter, sign over, thirty nine pounds. Usual uh, a markup by DJI on Amazon. Same one, £25.69, free delivery. But I got it for a really low price on Banggood for £9.52. So you can see how, sure if you convert that into dollars and that, you'll see the difference. There's a big difference between £9.52, um, I think that was with free shipping as well, um, it's got on here 83p shipping via US International um, so I may have had to pay 83p extra I'm not sure but it was still it was under £11 anyway compared to the uh, £25 of Amazon and the £39 of DJI themselves now, as you, if, you, if you've never used Banggood before, um, it's a Chinese site and it's got its good points and it's got its bad points. Um, its good points are things are very, very, very cheap and there's a mass of things on the site, loads of little things like um, electrical switches, um, diodes, transistors, the electrical components like that if you're... Um, in, in, into doing all your own electronics I've bought loads of my kit car of uh, little switches and, and, and stuff like that connectors and it's great for that trouble is things take forever to get there because they're shipped over land and water back from China they seem in no rush to initially post them they must come by a rowing boat or something because they are so long getting here um, but they do eventually arrive. I've only had one item not arrive and they did refund me. Um, but you hear horror stories of things not arriving. So yeah, there is a lot of um, poor quality stuff as long as along with the uh, the genuine stuff. I will use it for small items like that that I haven't got much chance of having having a return me return them because if you've got to return them, it's a nightmare. You, you've got to pay the postage back to China and everything. And, and it's just not worth it half the time. So I only buy the cheap stuff. If they do go wrong, just bin it and buy elsewhere or buy another one. Um, if I was buying something like a tablet or um, a laptop or a camera or something, I would never use Banggood. I would, I would just get it from Amazon and pay the extra. So you take your money, you, take, you pay your money, you take your choice, get it cheap. And that's why it was a bit of a risk getting this. When was it? I ordered it on the 4th of October. They shipped it on the 22nd of October. So it took them a couple of weeks just to bum or just to, just to ship it. So shipped on the 22nd of October and then I received it um, yesterday, the 9th of November. So nearly five weeks in total from me ordering it to come in. So be prepared to last that, to wait that long if you want one at this bargain price. Um, but the item arrived yesterday. Here it is. I've taken it out of the box already, so I won't be doing a proper full unboxing. But it is oops, in the proper box and an inner box. It's all very nicely packaged. It's not like a, a cheap item at all. Little book little registration card it was wrapped in its own wrapping this which i had to cut off just get it it's, uh, it's there its own cut out in the box and it had that 
wrapping round it, which I had to cut with a knife to get off. So all the signs, it's like a genuine proper article, but I wouldn't know until I plugged it in. But I have tried it and it works fine. So like you say, on, like I say, on this case. So you can see case wise, that's how it goes. Just shoves in like that. And you've got your aerial, your, uh, your microphone socket there. So that would go from, you'd put your, your, your normal mic, like I'm using on, uh, to record this video at the moment, on my Canon M50 on there, with your dead cat or whatever on, and your lead and plug straight in there or your lapel mic or a uh, remote radio mic I'm going to be showing you both them as well as the inbuilt mic in a minute um, so like I said that is in it will not go in with that other case that I showed you so be careful on what what case you get so I'm now going to uh, show you uh, the uh, thing in action working just to prove it does work. Um, I'll first show you recording with the uh, the Osmos inbuilt mic and then I'll go outside. It's not windy at all today, looking out the window. Um, so uh, we won't be able to show wind noise in and out, but uh, you'll see both the mics connected up and actually working. So we'll go and do that now. Okay, so this is the uh, the built-in mic of the Osmo. Um, like I say, it's not a breath of wind at the moment, so you shouldn't be hearing any wind noise. Pity, really, because I could have shown you the difference between uh, the built-in mic and the external mics. I have done that on the video on my, on, uh, my site, if you look for it, on the test for the Rode radio mics. So uh, have a check out of them to see them on a really windy day how uh, how good uh, a proper wind protector can be compared to the internal mic. But like I said, this is the internal mic and I walk backwards now while talking and obviously I'm going to be fading out. It's going to get to a certain stage where you're not going to be able to hear me at all. Um, so by the time I'm here, you won't be hearing anything at all. I'm just keeping in the normal tone of my voice as I walk towards the camera now. And, um, and now you'll probably hear me at a decent volume. So what I'm going to do now is plug in the um, just a normal lapel mic and um, plug in the adapter that we're testing and normal lapel mic and uh, you'll see uh, you'll see how that is. So I'll just pause a bit while I do that. Okay, so uh, here we are um, testing. Hopefully, it is working. It, it does work. If I have tried it before, I've done these videos. Um, so this is it. Obviously, using the um, lapel mic and the uh, dead cat. So uh, I'll show. I'm not just faking this, and it's using the internal mic. By as I stand further back here, you shouldn't hear any difference in uh, in audio. Um, I have got an extension lead for this, so I could stand even further back, but I'll tap it now, so you should hear them taps on it, and I'll blow it. You shouldn't hear much wind noise, but this is with the um, just a normal lapel mic. Again, did a test on that. Look at the test on the uh, the Rode radio mics, and uh, I included this one in that uh, that test. So uh, that's that one, and I shall now uh, plug in the Rode uh, Micro uh, wireless mic and uh, show you it uh, doing that. I won't stand as far back as I did in the Rode test. Again, check out that video on the Rode Micro and you'll see the amazing range you can get on that, uh, which basically is the end of the street I'm on now, my street. 
Uh, I'm not going to go back right to the end. It's too cold to do that today. So uh, I'll stop this recording now and plug in the uh, the Rode Micro. So uh, this is it with the the Rode Micro um, on. Um, I'll show you the setup when I get back inside and do the the final uh, bit of the video. Um, how how the Osmo looks now, but it's quite compact with the uh, the receiver on the top. I've got my transmitter here. Again, you can plug a lapel mic into this transmitter. Again, check out the. Uh, the test I've done on the other video on these road mics, which are brilliant. But as you can see, you can stand uh, pretty far back. You do lose signal when you turn your back. But as you can see now, just to prove, there's no way this could possibly be the um, internal microphone of the Osmo. And uh, I could go right over here to the other middle of the road and come back. I'll tap too far away for you to see but I'm tapping the mic now just to prove that you wouldn't want to go any further away than that really while while filming but uh, that just shows it does work with this there we are tapping it you should be picking up that so it's definitely not using the internal mic on the Oswell it is using this uh, road mic okay let's go back inside into the warm I'll get a coffee or something, and then I'll do the final uh, summing up. Okay, so uh, there you have it. Um, three different sound tests. One with the built-in um, Osmo Action mic. One with the lapel mic. You probably noticed quite a lot of uh, popping, and uh, I was holding that lapel mic. Uh, too near, too near, much too near to him. I was holding it here, and then as you're being called a lapel mic, it's pretty obvious you're supposed to put it here. So I wouldn't have got that with uh, if I hadn't done that. And again with the um, the fantastic Rode Micro. Um, that's how it looks on attached to the Osmo. So you've got the Rode Micro on the top there. That's the actual receiver, and um, I'll just turn this on. See, you've got a little digital digital display there. Get my glasses on. Anyway, that's uh, that's it. So you've got the receiver. The microphone itself is the transmitter, and you can plug a a Lavalier lapel mic in there and then you've got your lead from the receiver into the adapter that we're testing today. Um, you just unplug that, take that off there and then you can plug, this was the lapel mic I was using. Again check out my video on the road mics and it mentions this because I got this at the same time, it's a, a purple what is it? It's a, a purple panda. Get quite a few adapters with it and that. And that again plugs in at the back of this adapter we're testing today. One thing you have to be sure of is the plug that plugs in is like that. Where are we? With the top and then two black bands. So it's just like your normal sort of stereo configuration. You'll have like a, a common and left and right channel there because a lot of mics are terminated like that one. This is the Purple Panda Lavalier mic and you can see there are three black stripes on there. So there are actually four brass segments that's the configuration you need to plug into let's get it out of my pocket to plug, plug into your mobile phone so that sort of set up with the four black bands is for mobile phone use 
and maybe some other uses I don't know but I know my Canon M50 which I'm filming this on right now and the Osmo you have to have this adapter this is one that came with the purple panda kit you can get them that aren't aren't a wire there it's just direct from that plug to that female socket but you must have that it's like a four-way by three-way adapter um, but yeah that's it it works well that's the adapter in there that's the little tripod I filmed it on um, again I got that a freebie a free gift with another tripod I reviewed I reviewed a tripod I bought off uh, Amazon a big tall sort of four or five foot one full-size tripod um, and there was a little card in with it pick a free gift pick of one of four free gifts this was the one I selected and they actually sent it me and it's uh, very good quality again both them videos the big tripod and this about the free gift are on my site check them out as well if you do like these gadget reviews um, please give me a thumbs up please subscribe um, I'm getting all this mic stuff together because I am going to be doing, I've mentioned it before, I'm getting an electric. I've put an order in for an MG ZS EV car, um, which I will be getting at the end of December and beginning of next year. And I'll be doing loads of reviews on that. It'll be my first EV car. I will hate to get rid of me Focus ST3, which I absolutely love. But I just fancy getting into EV uh, cars this was a great uh, buy and um, so stay tuned if you want loads of reviews on that uh, but before then we'll be doing all the little gadget reviews along the way so I hope you've enjoyed this and it's been of some use but it does work this uh, microphone adapter it seems to be the genuine part it was under a tenner from Banggood like I say if you want to better service next day delivery easy return service by all means pay the 25 pounds from amazon uh, or the nearly 40 pounds from dji um, but uh, if you're willing to take the risk and wait five weeks for delivery you can save yourself a bit of money by getting it from banggood hope it's been of some use um, good luck with your, your filming with it and i'll see you for the uh, next review very, very soon. Bye for now.